If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. Let me say something, and I don't think it has anything to do with the Bible. I don't think. Saying the word no. With some people, they get so offended when you tell them no. Like, they can ask you something, and it doesn't matter to them how crazy or how bizarre their question may be or how intruding their question may be. If you tell them no or I don't want to tell you, in some cases, some people may get so offended. Okay, if you don't want to be told no, why even ask? And what I see people do as well, instead of telling you no, they speak in this way, this evasive way, and pretty much try to confuse you with their answer in order to not say no. When it comes down to me, tell me no. If you beat around the bush and sing all these words, that is going to draw up confusion, which is going to make a larger problem. Let me say this. I believe that it is a demon. If you are the type of person that gets offended when you ask someone something and they tell you no, if you are that way, that is a demon. It is not that the person is rejecting everything about you per se. That person is just rejecting what you are asking for. It is so crazy. Like you have to say things like, I would think that saying no is nice, I guess, but you have to put so much sugar on your answer to make it sound like you are not telling that person no. Usually with those people and what is coming to me now, usually with those people, those people have rejection issues. I am telling you, when you see people get so mad at you, so angry with you, when you tell them no, that is rejection issues there. That is a demon. So what you need to do is fix that and stop letting. Now, if you have a problem with that, there is so much more that you have problems with. I believe with us all, bad things happen to us all. But there have to be a point in your life where you have to accept what happened to you and move on. It is crazy where people rather lie to you to tell you other than to tell you no. I'm serious. There are people who rather lie to you than to tell you no. That is crazy. It makes no sense. Being told no is not a bad thing. If you are, I guess you can say, bold enough to ask me questions that may be intruding, I guess you can say. If you are bold enough, not really bold enough, but if you are willing to ask me something and you know that it is a possibility that I may say no, hey, be ready to be told no. I was 
thinking because I had a feeling someone was going to get mad at me when if I were to tell that person no. And I was thinking, how can I say it without trying to offend a person without saying no? And I'm thinking, this is stupid. This is really, really, really stupid. If this person is going to be offended, if I tell him or her no, hey, there is no point in me even talking to that person. Even without telling that person no, that person still got kind of offended. And I am thinking, you called me and asked me a question. So with people like that, you can't really please them. And if you are like that, that is a demon. So you need to do whatever you have to with God and get that stuff out of you. Because if you are like that, surely you have anger problems as well. And you have low self-esteem too. And those things there, <laughs> My Lord. So let me stop here. Don't be afraid to tell people no. This is what I may start doing. Whether a person gets angry with me or not, whatever. No. <laughs> so let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.